previously on PFI Speed. Blown fuse. I just hit it with my power probe and I popped it. Now we need to make sure we have some heavy power coming in here as well. Is into this on 30. And then this one is on to this one at 30. See what I'm saying? Is that the other one from the switch? The big one goes outside the car. Yeah, the red one goes outside the car, and then a black one goes outside the car. Yep. They go to a kill switch. Yep, for sure. The kill switch. Now, the wire that comes back from the kill switch goes up. Look at the driver's seat. That little block. That little block that doesn't have power. I don't know if we have power well, that past that bolt that's got tape in it or if it basically is just deading at the fuel pump stuff. So I'm a little sore from my accident. So crawling back there is kind of tough, but we could send him We need to send Shane. I tried to get him back there, but I'm a little big. And the wing? The wing kind of attaches the whole trunk. So I mean, we could probably have a screw those and unzip tie this. Hi. Mr. Yeah, Magoo 25, that's my alter ego. <laughs> I'm gonna check out what she's got going. I'll be back. Okay. Yeah. When this integrator came in, you know he did his best and, and tried to figure it all out, but it's not what he does every day. So he brought it to us. We're, we have dived in and uh, we've, we're kind of solving out how everything was wired and uh, what's going to what. So we're gonna get really deep into it this episode. So I'm really looking forward to bringing you all this and uh, see if we can't get this thing running and uh, all worked out. So just before we get into that, I want you guys to know we have our event this weekend, May 27th through 29th. We'll be qualifying the 27th and 28th and uh, the race will be on the 29th. So come on out the 29th. If you guys wanna do some bracket racing, there's some classes for motorcycles and, and your everyday cars. Besides having our PSCA heads up classes, Pro, Sport, and 11.5 Index. So don't forget to get your ride all hopped up and ready and get it on out here to Colorado and come race with us. So let's get to the video, boys. I don't know where this one goes. That wire there has now killed all the power of the car. He touched it <laughs> to try and find out where it was coming from. And it came apart, and now the car has no power at all. Do you remember where this uh, one is going? That one probably go to the junction box. There's a junction box? Where is the yeah, junction box? Might, the one that's on the driver's seat? Yeah, right there. So that thing has no power. Yeah, we don't have any power on that. The junction box. Oh, he's digging deeper than I was. Because this thing just fell right out. Okay, hold on. Jimmy, I think you're digging deeper than you need to right now. Look next to the seat. Is it on that? your side. I've got to get, get the right here. That is yeah, it. Yeah, that thing has nothing. That is it. Huh? <clears throat> that thing has nothing at all. No power what from the, the back. Then? So that one comes that does from the feed, kill that, switch. That does come from the kill switch. Yeah, so it goes through the kill switch in the back. Okay. And from the kill switch goes... Let's shove it into there the and just see what it the does. Kill switch, kill switch goes to the fuse box. Goes to the factory fuse box. Uh, yeah, the factory fuse box. Okay, shove that in there, Jimmy. Shove this in there. Just Let's just mock this thing up real fast. Let's see if it all comes back to life. Because I cannot power probe that and get anything. Nothing. Key on? Yeah. So it switches probably... on. Switches on. Switch on the back. Go just both directions. Okay. okay. So there's that. But still we have to figure out this. See that pink wire? Okay. The one that goes right in the fuse box and turn it on. So do we take yes. another big wire? But you have the main fuel tech wires there. Right. That pump and the two fans all off that pink wire. That little pink wire is running all of that. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So what we need to do is we need to get the two big fuel tech wires off of this fuse box and probably the to where you got those. To the main fuse box? To these, yeah, to the main fuse box, like under the alternator or whatever. Uh-huh. 
and then our switch powers can be up here but we're also going to need the big power that runs the fans and pump out there we either we either got to run a big wire from there to this and then you can use the fuses to run those with some like you know 8 16 gauge or something something heavier duty or we run the main powers from there to the big power on these and then out there you know what i mean and then really that get, kind of gets eliminated because all then all of a sudden all you're doing is triggers or in this pink one could be the 12 volt switch side of those or we could just have grounded because the yellows we got to redo those to that and then um some of these looks like we may have just depin them and then put new pins on to <clears throat> right fix that thing up so it's kind of where i was i do dove in and i was like because remember i told you to move that one earlier yeah well the one when it was moved it was moved to that ground block but i didn't realize that was your main power you were powering <clears throat> right. everything or, with or the fuel tech correct well not just the fuel tech but the pump, the pump and the, the two fans, fans. Mm -hmm. so we got it we just got to yeah, we got to fix all that. Basically, imagine um, those drawing a ton of amps. So those are going to require just a heavier gauge wire, you know, or two wires. If they're 20 gauge, you'd have to be two. You could probably get by with 16 gauge, like a good TXL, where we just have those run back, run so it comes out of the this fuse box into it, out of it, straight to the accessories and then the 12 volt switch powers from the fuel tech go to the one side and the other side the trigger side and then the other trigger side goes to ground and then that would fix that okay and then that would give us <clears throat> switch powers there too because basically that little pink guy is what's juicing up your whole universe and that thing's like that's 20 gauge by itself I didn't realize that until I was down here. I was like, oh, mm. crap, man. So basically, we need to just get the heavy powers with heavy powers and then... It's, <clears throat> then all the relays and stuff or the accessories. Yes. Okay. Because it's... I think... I think these... Real quick, I'll I, give you an example of yeah, how, like all this... So we'll dive in and we'll figure it out. All right, so... Jimmy's going to work on the powers. I'm going to work on the relays. We've got a good plan, and uh, we're going to start executing it now and see if we can't get this thing done and making some power. All right. Everybody's learning here, so can't judge too much. We're all, we've all been there. So we're going to just get everything solved decent, make it right, and, uh, and I think this will turn out really good. Um, we've already got a good start, and things are on their way. We just some little touches. We don't do it every day. You just kind of figuring out what the tools you got and that's where we're at so we got some good stuff here so we'll get her salt all right so i'm trying to get jimmy's wired you guys know tom's in here wiring his and an old cotter pin shows up how you doing dude wonderfully who's dog is that that's tom oh, bugsy look at this unit Woo -hoo. sign me up you're gonna put this on holly you say yeah this is awesome. He's got all new interior for it. You all swapping it then or something? Or? Just putting a sniper on it. Oh, it's a little sniper. Mm -hmm. I gotta pull the motor out, reseal it. That is cool. These are weird, they don't have park. Really? Yeah. What do they got? Uh, an e-brake. <laughs> an e-brake, that's it? Big old Cadillac. <laughs> Look at the bumper. Dude, that's cool. Nothing says jet like a bumper like that. He's got like 30 of them. <laughs> yeah, it goes neutral, drive low. Yeah. Well, left the house, <laughs> right there in the, the middle, bottom. guys, at the bottom. Where's Park? Headliner is in good shape. Oh, really? Yeah, we got to all the work to shoot for. So he saw what you're doing, and he's like, hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just finished this number five, that building we had over there. Yeah. And then we brought this down. He wants me to put a holly on it. And 
He said, after you're done with that, you're going to do a holly on the 55 with just brakes on it. Oh, goodness. We got to pop the hood. Let's see what's under there. The rest of this is, I mean, it's awesome. Look at the size of this hood. <laughs> you put a Honda engine right in here. <laughs> you put two V8s in there. It's a, it's a huge engine, isn't it? 331. Wide. Mm hmm. What degree is that? I have no idea. Somebody knows. About that. Yeah. What do you know about that, Gordy? That's the, that's the air cleaner that everybody wants. The bat wing. The bat wing? It is cool. Because air comes in and around. She's uh, making make noise. I ordered new, the correct blue paint from Caddy Daddy. Caddy Daddy. Three cans with 75 bucks of spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> They're the only one that makes the correct color that we can find. He said, order some. And he said, when you get it, he said, I'll, I'll bring it up to the shop and I'll mix up a couple gallons of it. What color is it? It's Cadillac Blue. Cadillac Blue. Yeah. It's just their engine paint. It's even the Valkyries, you know, yeah. it's just like Cadillac. The trannies painted the same color. And everything. If you put that in the video so I can see where it's leaking from the train. <laughs> <laughs> this is cool though. Mm -hmm. It's got a really bad dead spot on the carb. Lays on his face. He said, this is the third one I've put on it. He said, just put a holly on it. Interesting. What, one of those sniper EFIs? Yeah. Dang. Picked it up right away, huh, Gordy? Yeah. Kinda. He overheard us. <laughs> I didn't hear you guys <laughs> videos about it and stuff. Then they put one on the big block burnout car that Oh gear. Oh, yeah. 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 Cletus or yeah. yeah. The twisted T one. That's cool. It's a big, big car. It is big, long, and sweet. They don't make them like this no more. In like steel. <laughs> Imagine what that is. In... Ah, geez. Oh, I didn't notice the globe on the steering wheel. Gordo just pointed that out. There's a clock in the dash too. Yeah. yeah it's cool. Yeah. This one doesn't have It's a grandfather clock. clock. It's so <laughs> big. Dong. <laughs> 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 That's cool. They've got like an ivory white interior that they're putting in it. Mark. I said, so uh, I'd never be I allowed said, to sit in it. I said, I said, we're not putting that in before I work on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're not I'm clean dudes. Pull the motor tomorrow, and then he's going to take it, do the engine bay, and then bring it back. It's sweet. Yeah, I told him, I said, don't even paint the outside yet. Because it was bare metal yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. He's like, I'll just epoxy it and bring it down. He did a good job. Mm -hmm. mm. Yup. It's cool. So we got quick and dirty to try to get this thing going, but we used a deadhead for the 12 volt distribution. It seemed a simple solution and we had stuff laying around for that. Um, and then I went and 
put a big power wire to the fuse box here. We've got our main fuel tech leads there as well. Um, these are all our 12 volt switches, by the way. Um, and then I redid each power going to the relay there and then the triggers and redid the auxiliary connector there and uh, made that a little more tidy. Got rid of the extra little splices because it was like pin and then a wire and then a splice and then a wire. So a couple of those, got rid of that stuff. Clean this thing up and uh, yeah, really on our way to making some progress. Clean this all out right now and uh, let's do some testing. Just run through these quick. This is a fan, this is a fan. This is the intercooler water pump and uh, I've got the fuel tech controlling all of them. So he used the yellow outputs here on the auxiliary. So I just ran those out and those will trigger these relays. Um, and then I've got decent power coming off the fuse box now to those. Um, fixed all kind of just how I had it all. And I think that turned out pretty decent for what it all is. Um, yeah, so that'll get us going for now. And uh, should give us a little more success here. All right. All right, so we got the pump rewired. We got uh, kind of... So as you guys saw, we ran through all the wiring here. We got everything put together. So we need to run through and test everything right now. You can hear this pump running right now, so we're gonna need to check that, but at least that's working. All right. So all electrical should be good now. Let's test all the outputs. Make sure it runs still and uh, go from there. All right. Fans. All right, I hear the fans. Um, okay, that one is still goofy, why? See, when I click it, I'm shutting it off. Generic output eight. Let's look at that. Generic output eight. Oh, okay. All right, so we got a deal there. Something not quite right here. That should be the <clears throat> clutch slipper. No, that's a. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's time base. Did the. Where did the power and grounds go for this? It should have been over there. This one? <clears throat> is this, we're missing the power. Or, or uh, this is the wrong one. We're missing the power to that. That's why we test things. No, I mean, we have this uh, one. We got this one as well, we're missing the buttons. Should be a power ground and then just plugged into the can. But we did mess with things. <coughs> so I don't have my can. Yeah, I don't have the... Yeah, it's not recognizing the switch panel. So I think we're just missing the power and ground for the switch panel, we should be good. 
we just put it towards power. Yep, that's all we need for now. No? I see anything. Hmm, alright, let's investigate. Let's get the light. Alright, so we chased down the wiring, we got the switches back on. Everything works, now we're going to go right back in to test our outputs and uh, making sure they work. Uh, you want to go to the engine bay, I'm going to click on things and let me know they turn on. We're going to start with that water pump, so we got to plug that back in. Yellow output to a relay, send it powered out to v correct? Um, well, you, you don't just have to do a diode if you do a yellow, right? A yellow just needs a diode. Um, any grays or blues have to be relayed. Okay, so if you use a yellow or a blue, or no, a, gray a or blue, blue or a gray, you can just do it to a relay. Sorry, I was backwards. The yellow needs a diode. If you use a blue or a gray, it's fans. You can just. All right. The pump is still relay. on. The pump is now. It's on. It's off. It's off. It's off. 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 All right, so okay, so we need to check that because that is a little goofy. All right, let's let's look at the. We gotta look at this one real quick for the pump. It's working backwards. Maybe I did something wrong. Happened. <laughs> you guys are long for a ride right there. All right, so it's this relay. Yellow. And brown. Oh, maybe it's due. No? Yeah, that was Bryce. He's just getting ready to wire his. It's a yellow. Bryce is getting ready to wire his. He said Bryce is getting ready to wire his? Yeah. Okay, so have this grounded up there this powered so the fuel tech should send a power what do we got going on here and it comes in okay so the wiring looks correct but it's acting backwards so let's uh get over here and play some more some setting or something. Generic output eight. Ah. Enabled. Oh, there we go. Look. Activated at zero volts. It needs to be activated at 12 volts. Alright. Save. Home. Right. There was the problem. The button is on. All right, so that's right now. Woo! And generic output eight. I'm actually going to move that. So that's the pump. Now I'm trying to take all of this stuff off of his shoulders, turning the switches on, etc. Because it's a, you know, something you got to deal with. So we're looking for boost activated switch because we're going to have this thing boost activated output one. Okay, we're going to change that to that. We're going to take it off this altogether. This way it'll make it super easy. Boost activator one. So as soon as we get one pound of boost, the intercooler will turn on. And that is on a 
yellow output. Now your intercooler is off this as well. Okay. Your intercooler pump, as soon as it sees one pound of boost, it turns on automatically. Okay. So you don't have another switch. I'm taking all the switches away from you. Awesome. I want you to drive and that's it. All right. <laughs> so remember when we talked about boost activated outputs yes. earlier yes. today? So that's what we did with that one. Okay. So that, that came in handy, honestly. Sounds good. Yep, so we need, we, let's test those outputs. We tested the fan, that was working. Tested the pump, that was working. Starter, we know works. Um, increase, decrease, Shane and I tested. So it's just, the last one we gotta do is that time-based thing. So let me know. Getting anything? You hear the relay clicking or anything? Okay, so the time-based output is all we got left. And that's for the clutch slipper, so. <clears throat> How did you depin the pin earlier? Mm -hmm. I'm professional. You're professional? How I'm you professional. Um, the tab's at the top. Oh. Yeah, I can show you. I used my flat pin. Alright guys, hold on, I gotta go help. Dude.